This today's in this small video, I'll be telling about a very important uh, issue that is, you know, residential status. Residential status. There are actually basically two types of residential status. One resident, another non-resident. First time you understand that way. One is resident, and other is non-resident. And the resident is of two types: resident and ordinary resident. Resident, but not ordinary resident. So from that point of view, you are getting three types of residents. And for filing the return, those income and other things, company, I told you, types of shareholders, this is okay. But in addition, the important point factor is that residential status of the taxpayer. If you are individual and if you are not staying in India, mostly you are staying outside, then you are resident but not ordinary resident. Your return will be different again. If a non-resident, I am not taking it in detail because it is not very important here. But you just let's remember you've studied last year also. So if if you are resident and ordinary resident, then your status is different. But you are resident but not ordinary resident. Status is again different. And if a non-resident, totally different. So there may be a question: What is residential status? In this semester, there may be very small because yet your importance is given in some other things. What is that? E-filing of return. Important given to e-filing of return. But what I am talking about, resident and other things. Small question may be there. One mark, two mark question may be there. So just brush up. So there are three types of residential status actually. Number one, resident and ordinary resident. Resident but not ordinary resident. Resident and ordinarily resident number one. Resident but not ordinarily resident number two. It travels foreign countries mostly, and non-resident is totally out. So these definitions you learn, and it all depends on that person how many days he in the year he stays in India, how many days he stays outside India. All these things are counted. But here I don't think it's so much of importance. But you please learn for short notes what your residential status is. What are the three types of residential status?